Get over here! Oh, this doesn't have a D-pad. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. It has buttons. Oh, yeah, so you're so used to the D-pad, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, fun fact, uh, Patty tricked out his, uh, his, uh, si his switch. Yeah. So, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to episode 60 of Let's Play Hollow Knight. 60 episodes, dude. Yeah, that's quite a lot. Mm-hmm. Ooh. So, work. here we are in Green Pad, specifically the Stone Sanctuary. We have a little bit of unfinished business here. Uh, Patty and I were doing some research at the end of the last episode. Yeah. And if we can get to the end of this, I believe. There's a lot of spikes. Yeah. But they're not particularly, like, difficult to get around. And there it is! Oh, cool. That is the that. last mask shard in the game. Cool. Wasn't there a place that you needed, like, all the stuff to get through? With, like, all the With all the bonus masks and stuff like that? Wasn't there, like, an area? Um, the lifeblood gate. Yeah, we already did that thanks to the fact that we had the uh, lifeblood heart Oh, you didn't us. need all of them. Yeah, yeah you okay. don't need all... You don't need all the masks. Honestly, like, you actually need 15 pips of, uh, health in order to get through that gate. So, you... So, you needed the lifeblood heart anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, that was the last mask in the game. Well, that was really easy. I mean, I guess... I guess they, like, designed this so, like, you would go through it without the lantern. Mm, you know what I, mean? I don't even know. Because it, it, cause it, look how easy it is to get through here. Like, it looks like you could, like, get through this without the lantern. Yeah, pretty, ignoring the difficult. elephant in the room, by the way. Oh, him? What's he doing? What are you? My child, you can still see? Please, don't hurt me. Can't sleep with your eyes open, little one. Can't dream if you're still breathing, little one. Precious children, you speak such loathsome things as you sleep. Your claws scratch and scrape. Precious children, a monster has come for us in the dark. Will you sing for me? Huh. So we can fight this guy at no eyes. I mean, um, we don't necessarily have to anymore. Not right now, yeah. We'll come back if we want to. All right. Rip. Wrong button. Yeah, no, because we got all the, uh, we got, because we got all the things from the seer, we don't really need to fight these things anymore. Hmm. So... I mean, if you guys oh. want us to go around and fight the rest of the warrior dreams, we will. But um, Patty and I are at this point uh, really just concerned with like doing all the important stuff in the game. Yeah. And not necessarily like, as far as I'm concerned, it's not necessarily it's not really necessary for 116 percent completion because again, no. we did all the dream stuff. Mm -hmm. We did pretty much all. If of it that. does count towards that, though, maybe we're gonna have to. Yeah. But. Um, yeah, so that was that. We got the Stone Sanctuary out of the way, so, but that's not the real reason we're here. Um, so we have the, um... Okay, so we're up. Yeah, we gotta go to the Fungal Wastes. Okay, so I gotta get to, uh, the station then. Uh, is... yeah. I can go to the Queen Station. Actually, I can just run there. I'm close enough. I'm gonna go down to the Queen Station through the Fog Canyon. I don't need to take a stag. It'll probably be faster for me to just go down through here. Alright, yeah, we can do a little walking. Um, but, uh, yeah, first of all, happy 4th of July, everybody. Ooh, um, we're recording this the day after, the of uh, in Independence Day. Because I have off. Yep. <laughs> yeah, like... I don't have off, but my hours are weird, so... Yeah, I work 9 to 5 now, so... Mm -hmm. it's I want those difficult. hours. It's a little difficult to, like, coordinate, um... Yeah, but still, um... Oh, boy. We're good. Uh, how much money do we have? 450, 495, so we're not nearly enough for that thing yet. No. Um, by the way, I equipped the Gathering Swarm, so any, uh, loose Geo or Buck Bucks, yeah. we haven't called that, called it that in a while. No. Uh, any loose haven't. Buck Bucks that go around, like, uh, just falling, then, uh, we can, uh, the bugs Ooh. will just pick up for us. Recover some health, dude. No, we're <laughs> you good. got the soul for it. We're good. I'll hit a bench soon. That's true. So yeah, what did you do for the 4th of July? Um, I went, uh, I grilled with, um, my friends Dylan and John and Allie. Oh, which I guess most of you people know John. Yeah, um, they, they know Dylan, like, some, some people who watch me also know Dylan and Allie too from, uh, John's, uh, Let's Plays. They did, like, Mario Party. Um, John right now is doing, uh, Steven Universe, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Save the Light, I think is yeah. what it's called. Mm -hmm. Uh, with Allie. So yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, yeah, I worked on the 4th of July because, you know, TV never rests. 
Yeah, they gave they gave us 4th of July off and then 5th of July off because they're just like, none of y'all are going to want to come in on 5th of July, so you guys can just have it off. Yeah, anyway. because, like, you guys, uh, like, 4th of July is on Thursday, and it's yep. like, you guys are not going to come, you guys don't want to come in for, like, just one day, so they basically, basically just gave you the weekend off. Yeah, basically, that's how it rolled, mm -hmm. um, which was nice. It means four-day weekend, and they let us out early on Wednesday, too, so it's just like... Okay, that's nice. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, I I mean, I think... Has it... Have we recorded since I got my new job, or no? Um, we... The last time we recorded, you were just starting your new job. Was it because the, no, it was the other job. Yeah, it was, you, like, you not quit, the new job. You quit your other job <laughs> right after... Like, we started recording right after you quit your other job. Okay, the one I quit after... Okay, so, yes, we're in that tunnel. Hey, dude, what's up? Got to hit him? Yeah. Oh, he's so weird. Yeah. It's nice that you were able to help your friend. So you're, you're not hungry, hungry anymore. anymore. Yes, that, that was, was quite, quite an appetite. appetite. I was impressed. Still, we all move on sooner or later. To greater things, perhaps. So much can be achieved in just a short time. Why are we doing it that way? Oh, oh. excuse me. I don't know. Why not? Okay, Number so two. that, ladies and gentlemen, was a character known as Mr. Mushroom. Apparently, Let's go. Apparently, if we go around finding him with the spore shroom equipped, um, all seven locate like he's spread around the Hollow Nest in seven locations. If we find him, apparently it'll unlock a secret cutscene at the end of the game. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Yep. Which honestly has me very, very curious as to what's gonna happen. So, where to next? Um, we're going down to, um, I think it's the Ancient Basin, then we're gonna hit the tram. Ah, okay. Yeah, this is gonna take a little while. But yeah, other than that, I, you know, I started my new job. I, I just, I got back from Italy the other week. Yeah, you spent, like, how long in Italy? Uh, like, like five days or so. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a crazy amount of time. But, um, we're going down to where? Hidden Station? Right? Yeah, Hidden Station. Okay. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, yeah, it was pretty neat. Um, yeah, I could use a vacation. And started work, and then um, I was in New York last... I was in New York on Tuesday for work. Um, and I might be getting sent down to <coughs> Virginia to work on this project on point-to-point -point wireless links. <coughs> Excuse me. Which All is right. kind of cool. So, be moving around a lot for yeah, work Yeah, what now. exactly is your title now that I think about it? I'm a uh, wireless systems engineer. Right. Mm -hmm. So my company does a lot of like, uh, basically I'm a Wi-Fi engineer. Uh, we do consulting for wireless systems and uh, deployment. Right. Uh, we don't really do much installation. We like subcontract that out completely. So we just do all like consulting and design. Got you. All right. Mm -hmm. Remind me to remind me to ask you about my Wi-Fi later. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, if you wanna. Site survey. For real talk though, because like Amber and I are moving in uh, with, with each other really soon. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I kind of want to upgrade the Wi-Fi in this house because it's a little weak. Home home systems are really easy to do. They're really basic. But... I, I figured as much. But again, like the the wireless um, is like the wired the Wi-Fi is fine. Like I have a direct wired line in my Wi-Fi. Computer. That's like kind like, of not. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I I I don't know I don't know the terminology the way you do. But anyway, um, but no, like, I, j I just, like, figured, like, a nice upgrade to my Wi-Fi system would be nice so that I can actually, like, you know, play my PS4 and my, uh, and my Switch online without any lag for yeah. once. I mean, for, like, two people living in the house, it's not really going to be that complicated. I didn't think it's it was. It's just figuring out where you want to put your AP and... Right. Because downstairs, I guess, isn't the best place. It's That's, not... like, in the corner of your house. You want something more centralized. Yeah. Um, also, it depends on what your walls are made up to. All right, so I believe it's in that little alcove, like, right next to Yzma's Grove. Yeah, it's up there. Right. All right, that's easy. Uh, I didn't miss this place. Oh, I like the little buzzy bees. I don't normally like bees that much, but they're cute in this game, so... A lot of things are cute in this game. Hey, I like the cute things. Dude, so do I. I'm, 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 excited, to, I'm, I'm excited to catch Gossifleur in the new Pokemon game. I I don't know. I like the sheep. Um, yeah, other blue. ones are okay. Most of them are alright. I'm excited to get that. 
Yeah. Excited to get sword. I want. I'm excited to get Great Wolf Sif. <laughs> okay. After we talk to this guy, I like. I have a question for you. Shouldn't trust the eye they gave you. Relied on your own instincts. If you got a keen nose, use it. And while you're hunting for secrets, beware those who are hunting you. Oh, excuse me. And there he goes. So wait, what? What's your question? Um. Well, first of all, let's determine where this uh, third deep nest. Deep nest. Oh God. All Not right. Bad. Um, heading over to the deep nest then. But uh, as I was saying, that was um. Not to raise the ire of anyone, especially anyone in our audience who might think strongly of this. Um, what do you think of Pokemon's decision to uh, about the national decks? Uh, I'm not a fan. Um, I'm hoping they... I mean, I can understand if it's like, hey, right at the beginning we're not. Uh -huh. Because let's be honest, there's like a thousand of these things. And I, I knew yeah. at some point it was going to be like, hey, we have too many Pokemon. We need yeah, to do that, something about that, this. That was something like, I'm not too big of a fan of it myself, but I understand why they decided to do it. Because it's like, this is a, ca this is a case where it's eventually going to be the... Like, which Pokemon game is going to be the straw that breaks the camel's back? Yeah, and, like, on so, like, honestly, like, I'm not super versed in it, because, like, I've been dealing with a bunch of other stuff, so I haven't really been keeping up on it too much. Right. But, so I don't, I, this this may be something that, like, people already know, but, like, if it's a, pa if they patch it in later, that's, I expect them to patch it in later. I, I think they might I patch it in later as well. I don't know if they well. said it or not, but, like. I, I am not entirely sure, to be honest, myself, but. I think what bugs me the most is like, yes, I'm a little myth about the national decks and everything and all that, and like, it is upsetting, but for one, I understand why, because again, eventually, like, it, it was inevitable. They were eventually going to get to the point where, hey, we have like over a thousand of these things, um, eventually things, like, changes are gonna have to be made, but what annoys me the most about it is like, a lot of people are like, very ignorant about the kind of work that like, game developers and designers have to well, yeah, do in order to make all this work. Kind of it, like... It's not as simple as like, just making a new model and animating it. You gotta make it like, work with other things, interact, make it interact, like, the thing about coding is that it is very, very precise. One little character out of place can ruin everything. Look what happened to uh, Aliens Colonial Marines. Yeah, I don't know the specific example about that, but I understand what you mean. Uh huh. Um, long story short, um, aliens colonial, colonial room, marines uh, like enemy AI was broken as as hell. Like it was absolutely dumb. Uh, someone actually uh, found uh, got into the coding. Oh, it was the, a syntax error. Yeah. Uh, ba basically, like uh, they found the typo, and once they fixed the typo, everything started working again. Well. Oh. So that tells you something about how those things kind how that how that kind of thing goes. But uh, yeah, like. Again, I understand why people are upset about the national decks, but don't be ignorant of the pe of the kind of work that these guys do, guys. Like, unless you're a game designer who like a, like who actually has a license for this kind of thing. License? You don't get licenses as the game dev. Or like, yeah, unless you're a game like you uh, actually know like what it's like to be in that office. Yeah, like just just take it for what it is. Besides, the game's not even out. Really? Yet. <laughs> And like, yeah, besides, game's not even out yet, guys. Calm down. Oh my god. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. It's just this is like a really there we go. Yeah, this is a this is a precarious location. There we go. It's yeah, like didn't, I didn't miss the deep nest. Where am I? Okay, I need to go up. Alright, there should be a there should be a way to go up uh like on the other side, so yeah, there. Take that. And that. Okay, Phoenix, right? Yeah, I um. Yeah, I believe I know where this is. If you go up this uh, chat, uh, if you go up this uh, column here, you should be you should be able to find it easily. There we go. Yep, right in there. Um, aside from that, I've been uh, I've been enjoying some other games uh, while waiting for uh, Pokemon Sun and or not Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'm also looking forward to Three Houses. Yeah, I'm probably gonna pick that up. Um, I just got Mario Maker. Yeah, Patty showed me a level he made uh, it was okay. before we started, and it was pretty good. The dead can't make use of wealth in any case. 
what would they spend it on? Yes, a big brood like that. They need food and shelter and toys. If you keep some for yourself, well, I think you deserve it. Yes. Oh, excuse me. Okay, Squidward. <laughs> We've gotten to that point, haven't we? Okay, four. Uh, is... Number four, I believe, was up in uh, up the here, Holland yeah. Cliffs. Yeah, that's going to take a little bit. Um, I believe... Um, is there any place... Ah, oh, man, you know what we gotta do? Um, we gotta put a, like, we, we gotta put, like, a dream point. Can I, wait, is up, is up or down return? Um, it's up. I'm gonna return to wherever we are. Um, that's, uh, near where the, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, that's, um, is that'll it, take us to where the, uh, Grey Mourner was. It's probably closer to Yeah, that, to that, like, a, if, a if, if, you, point if, if you, if you, if you just go through the tunnel underground, that's a hop, skip, and a jump to the, to the stack station in the resting grounds. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah like, better. how about this? Like, let's go to, uh... Let's make a quick stop over at, uh, Dirtmouth. And, uh... Actually, no, we don't need to. Just put a... Uh, just put a waypoint at the, uh... At, a, at, a at stag, the stag station. At any stag station. Yeah. Basically. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter which. Uh... Oof. That's fine. Yeah, go up there. Up. Yeah. Up. Um... Not that way. Uh... Not quite. Okay. Um, well, if you go there, uh, you can go to the King Station if you want. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to that Yeah, one. just go to the King Station. I think I'd rather, I think I'd rather, uh, the scenery of the City of Tears in this place. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, there aren't too many games I'm super looking forward to. I've been playing Shadowbringers a bit. I don't know if i played that one. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers. Oh, the oh, the, the expansion? Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, I still never got. I, I still never really got into. Uh, I mean, now's a good time if you wanted to, because there's a bunch of our friends who are playing it now. Yeah, I know. Like, I, I, Nick, I was just, Nick, I was just never into MMOs because I could never stomach the monthly fees. Honestly, it's when you play one, it's cheaper than playing one that's free, actually. So most well, of the time. How does that make sense? Because most free MMOs, if you want to actually like play them, you like end up having to spend. It's they're more reliant on the cash shop and their balance around having a cash shop to be competitive and like get shit you want. A lot of times, you end up spending more money. So the, it, it's kind of like uh, they they hide a lot of content behind a paywall. Yes. Um, oh yeah. Like, okay. Yeah, that made, that does make sense. Like when I was a kid, I played this game called Mabinogi, and Mabinogi oh, was like yeah. a super pay to win game. It was oh, a man, Nexon I, game. Oh man, I have a friend who will never. I, I have a friend who doesn't like stop talking. Is about it Mabinogi. Jordan? Uh, no, it's not Jordan. Oh, because he's uh, the one who got me into it. Uh, no, it, it's a, it's someone I know that you don't know. Okay. But, um, I mean, that game is, like, dead now, isn't it? Mmm. Not really, actually. Like, it's still, apparently, it's still, uh, very much, um... Look, I'm curious to see what the, what's there now, because that game was so bad. Like, I mean, it was fun, and it had, like, good things, but it was, like, poorly cre created. Like, it was, there was so many bugs and so many problems. And it was Nexon, so we get used to having 36-hour maintenances <laughs> and, like, crazy stuff like that. Um, but um, I believe if you go to the Stag Nest, you'll be able to yes. find uh, go from there. But I remember in that game, it was free, right? Yeah. But, like, once you love, like, when you leveled up, you could basically level indefinitely. At least at the beginning, they changed stuff and made it a little <gasps> more friendly to free-to-play. Yeah. But when you started, basically, by the time you got to, like, level 40, it became really slow to level up. Really? And every time you level up, you get ability points, which you use to level up your skills. Uh-huh. And, like, getting a high rank skill to, like, the highest rank could take, like, 400 ability points. Ah, uh, so, like, okay. But the thing is, what you could do is you could spend $10 uh -huh. and rebirth and set your level back down to 1 and then re-level up and keep, all the, and keep all the AP. Ah, I see. So, like, what you would do is, um, do we not have the compass? Did I ever get to equip the compass? Did I even not notice that we didn't have the compass? I might be an idiot. Um, okay, so... Find a bench pre time. Press minus. No, we have it. No, we have it. So where are we? Um... In the stag? I, I think we might be in the, in the... We might be in an unmarked location. Yeah, I think that's what's going on. Now that you mention that. Yeah, maybe. Um, but yeah, and then and then it'd be like, oh, but if, and if you want the premium service, that's 15 a month on top of that. 
And then, oh, if you want this mount, that's gonna be $30. If you want this, it's gonna be, and like the mounts were basically, at one point, the mounts, there would be these mounts and when you summon them, they would do an AOE knockback, uh -huh. which was like so useful that like, I had nine of them at one point. Like I need, like you basically, every mage, every like competitive player would have like a lot of these things. Um, because like they were, there we are. they were super useful. So like you can already see how much money's getting racked up on that. Yeah, that's cl that's classic microtransaction techniques. With fourteen, if I want to be competitive, I just pay twelve dollars a month. That's it. Jesus. That's it. Twelve dollars a month. I see. I, I see what you're getting at. I don't need to buy anything else. I should be here. Somewhere here. Uh, let me see. Go ahead and look up the map. Smooth. Uh, should be right next to that bench. Right? Nail oh wait, no. Are we lower down? No, we're not. We're right. In the, we're in the right spot. Should be right. This is there. number four, right? Yes. Because we did three, which was uh, down here. Here's three there. Right. And we're on four. All right. So he should be around here somewhere. Actually, go around. Should round. be like right here. Actually, should be like right where we are. Um, but I'm gonna poke around here a little bit more. Yeah, poke maybe, around maybe a bit because like he has that gibberish that we can listen to. No, he should be left. Huh? He should be over there. Unless he's inside the area. Like Oh, he, he might be, like, be. He should be like right here. Go he inside? Might, he might be in here. Yeah. Oh, sure enough. Yeah, he's inside. Mm -hmm. That's unique. What was called a hero in its moments may be called something very different after time has passed. The, the crimes and, and triumphs of, of our predecessors, predecessors echo all around us, don't they? The, the chains of fate that bind us all together. together. Do, Do you really want to break, break them? them? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> That's getting fun, not gonna lie. Uh, rest at the bench real quick, just so we can recover some. Okay, right. Um, it's the other way. One to five. All right, so number five is uh, where? Um, you can take a look. You, can... you just put a, yeah, no, up, dude. You almost put a waypoint there. There we go. So we want to go down to the ancient basin again. Yeah, down and then all the way left across. I think that's. Oh, it's uh on the way where we uh, fought um the uh, what's it called? The uh, broken vessel. Yep. Down here. All right. This is a hop, skip, and a crystal dash away. So. Or two. I love this ability. I know you do. Not. Not. Ignoring the times where my suggestion to use it has gotten us hurt. <laughs> so another game I've actually been playing is uh, Bloodstained. Yeah, yeah, I've been meaning to pick that up once they fix the Switch port. Yeah, I don't know what happened there, but according to uh, what I've been reading on the blogs... Optimization stuff. Yeah, basically. It's like, oh, they screwed up on some optimization, but they were really transparent about it, which I like. Uh, and I think they're going to fix it. Uh, I just don't want to buy it on PS4. Uh, why not? Um, because I want it on handheld. Oh, yeah, that's right. Also, you're... for work, I'm not really... Yeah, you're here, traveling all over the place, so like a Switch is like much more... Uh... Valuable. Having mm -hmm. things on Switch is way more valuable for me. Because I do a lot of travel for work. Up, oh, I hear him. Hi. Well, if things are getting too dangerous down there, maybe it's time to take a break. 
come back up and spend some time hunting, or gathering, or wandering aimlessly. No, no, not too much longer now. Oh, excuse me. Alright, well, there's that. So, that was number five, right? Yeah, we're on six now. Alright, and number six uh, is in the Fog Canyon. So, we're to Green Station. Well, no, yeah, yeah, it is in the Fog Station, I think. Um, Fog Canyon or Queen's Garden? Um, it's Fog Canyon, but it's right on the border. So, I'm gonna go to Queen Station. Alright, sounds good. Mm hmm. You have Mario songs stuck in your head, don't you? What? No? Why? I swear that your tapping was just like the underground music from Super Mario World. That was not what it was intended to be. <laughs> I don't even know what that sounds like. Really? Yeah, I didn't play Super Mario World. That's right, I keep forgetting about that. Good song! Not really something I tend to have on Spotify all the time. Well, yeah. <laughs> what kind of music do you listen to now that I think uh, about it? A lot of stuff. Like. What what do you typically put on when you're uh, driving? Um, I've been listening to a lot of Panic. That's like all Panic is one that I always go back Panic to. Panic at the Disco. Yeah, I always go back. Oh, to I them. love Panic at the Disco. And then Florence and the Machine um, is another. I like uh, Slaughter Beach Dog is a cool one. Huh. That I like. Um, I guess we could go across here now. It's probably uh, yes, we can. Oh yeah, because we can swim. Yeah, we can. We we have Eastmas here. Mm -hmm. Um, I listen to all kinds of stuff though, so I'm not really. Yeah, I mainly listen to soundtracks, so I, I like listening to a lot of video game and movie soundtracks. I like listening to remixes. Like um, I, I love listening to like YouTubers and like what they can do to like spice uh, popular oh, songs up. I gotta show you this song from in 14 that's like freaking incredible. Like one of the new like one of the new um. It's like the new main Sonorio quest song. Like, uh -huh. it basically, so when you're doing, like, a, a single-person duty for the new main Sonorio quest, it's, like, awesome. Alright, you know where you're going? Oh, yeah, there he is. Can I... Nope. Nah, you can't use the Shadow Dash. I haven't seen her, no. I'm, I'm sure you'll remember where you left her eventually. Trust the moon, or yourself. Or trust her. You need to trust something. That's my point. Hmm. No. Not him. No. Absolutely not. Oh. Excuse me. Was he talking about the Traitor Lord? I have no clue. Huh. Now, I imagine all of these, like, relate to something. Like, I remember what he was talking about uh, down where we fought the uh, Broken Vessel. He was basically talking about, like, what we do on our off time. Huh. So, the last one is in the Forgotten Crossroads, which is easy. Well, no, it's... Oh, it's at the very beginning of the game! Yes. Um, if you take the stacks... If you go, I, yeah, if, no. yeah, if you go to the stack station and then just drop. Well, I have to go... Yeah, I have to go up to the stack nest. Huh, so it comes full circle. We go... We basically, um, just... Go mm -hmm. to the very beginning of the game. Yeah. Interesting. Alright. Yeah, just so you guys know, we have a map up. Yeah. <laughs> Constantly up right now. Mm -hmm. Nice save. Yeah, right. Alright, so if we just go to the end of this, we should be fine. Oh, no. Excuse me? Oh, we might be able to get up there by climbing here. Yes, we can. <laughs> okay. I, I forgot that takes us to the beginning uh, where... But I wasn't uh, expecting it to skip everything. Yeah, I, like, I, I thought we, that was going to put us here, but no, like, I guess that put us in dirt mouth. Weird. 
But anyway, here's a blast from the past. The King's Pass. Ah, what am I doing? Stop it. There we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Just one, that's fine. Oh man, this area is so difficult. Uh, that's taking you up to something. <clears throat> yeah, we didn't miss those, did we? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we gotta go around and under. This way. So, what does Mr. Mushroom have finally to tell us? It's not by tools that you'll triumph. It's, it's through your smarts, your speed, your determination. Oh, I see. So you've been following me around then. I hope my travels haven't confused your own, distracted you. Then again, a meandered journey still has meaning. It is, after all, from a journey we find our purpose. Though a stop is more than just a stop. And my, and my, if those stops can't be lovely things, wouldn't you say? Transcendent plateaus, distant sandy lands, vast ancient kingdoms. Yours was not the first, nor will it be the last. But it's a unique and special thing nonetheless. Now, with my duties here finished, it's time I made graceful departure. Till next time, my friend. Tis a long road we tread, but a joyous one. Whoa! Oh, you can fly. Uh. Until our paths cross again. That was weird. Okay. Well, well, that pretty much uh, sums up uh, what we wanted to do. So, thank you guys for joining us for episode 60 of Let's Play Hollow Knight. Ooh. A pretty wandery one, but an important Ooh. one, because that will unlock, uh, uh, unlock something for us later on. In the next episode, um, I'm going to torture myself. Cool. Basically. <laughs> Sounds fun. Yeah. We've been uh, leaving uh, quite a, uh, uh, quite a uh, elephant in the room, and we're finally going to address it. Next time, Nightmare King Grim. Cool. See you guys then. Excuse me. Smooth.